Last week when you joined us, we had just arrived at Picton and we decided to stay at Parkland's Holiday Park, which is by the marina in Picton. Beautiful park, lovely uh, clean facilities, it was great. Then we went to J Jolly Roger and had a fantastic meal. Big meals, I mean just look at the size of these. And after that we went to Makana Boutique Chocolate Factory and of course being there we had to make a few purchases they were just absolutely lovely Now last night we decided to leave the cabin hooked up to the car because we're only staying for the night and we're going to move off this morning. So let's have a look around the campground at Paikakariki. Doesn't look too bad. Um, Love little kids playing here over here. Yeah, I don't think I'll be having a shower out here. Might scare the neighbours. Lovely park-like settings, beautiful. Right, this is the facilities block, so let's investigate. It's the laundry, some dryers there. And into the kitchen. You got your fridge there, plenty of stainless steel bench area on both sides. There's sinks there and over here with another fridge. And all you're cooking along that wall. Brilliant microwave in the corner. Oh, and another one over here. And a little gas barbecue area as well. Good to see plenty of recycling going on. Right, and this is gentlemen's facilities. I presume it's the same for the ladies, quite tidy. But this is the thing that gets me. Ooh. I come in here, one hook. That's it. No shelving, just one hook. There is, however, a bench outside here. Now, when Nicola and I were here some years ago, we stayed in these units. And they've got really good size sites. Nice and level and good privacy. Excellent. Quite a nice tidy park really. The um, the sites are nice, look, look really nice. They're um, not rough at all. And uh, here's another facilities block by the looks. We'll go and investigate that. This room here looks like a little laundry. It's got washing machines on there. And here's another barbecue area in here. Some more recycling. Brilliant. Nice little enclosed dining area. And this is quite good. Check out time for power and tent sites. 11 a.m. That's excellent. Looks like a really nice uh, setup here. On that side, you've got a washing, and on this side, I'll have to. No, I can't film it from the other side, but the opposite side to that, where I am standing, is all cooking. And there's heaps of fridges over there, I see. Ah, uh, there we go. That's where I was standing over the other side. Uh, and there's microwaves, toasters. On both sides, so there's your cooking. One of those uh, jumping pillows, they call them, for the kids. And as you can see, the park goes on further over the back with even more recycling. So it's really good to see that they're into uh, recycling. Now, if I come up the hill here, I've also got a storage area for your caravans and even your vehicle. So uh, 
that's really good to see. Another thing I like about this campground is they spread everyone out. You're not all crammed in one area. If there's one thing I can't stand is when you go to a campground and they block you all in and there's plenty of open space. Um, I mean, you have a look. If I have a look around here, there's one there uh, in that whole block. So, um, yeah, it's to me it's just been a little bit considerate for people who want nice, quiet night's sleep. So, uh, yeah, excellent stuff. Not a bad campground at all. And you can see what I mean by about spreading everyone out. Now this is just one of the rows here. Now, if I point around, there's one caravan here. And there's one way over the back. And as you can see, it's not crammed in. People are spread out. And there's where we are. Good stuff. Excellent. So, the only gripe I have about this campground so far is that I've found is hooks in the showers when you go in there with your clothes your towels and your your soap bag and all that sort of thing you've got one hook to put everything on so that's it apart from that this campground is very good very nice and this other little unit here has a lovely cooking facility it's called a wife <laughs> Today, by popular request, <laughs> is it? <laughs> yep. Um, we're going to visit RJ's confectionery factory in Levin. Have a look at yours first. It's going to be a good day. Now you might remember this place from our trip south a few videos back this morning we're leaving Ashes sort of Ashes isn't it and we're heading off through Palms North on our way to Kaiwi I think it's Kaiwi Hotnay Park about the showers here this is a unisex one but have a look one two three four Another interesting thing about this caravan park, 
they've got a shop up here and they do fish and chips, uh, you can get gurnard, orange roughy, all sorts of things and they do it really nice, it's beautiful. Um, it's also, the campground has a um, secure entrance here, so they give you a little pad thing and a keypad on the post, uh, which is just over there somewhere, there it is, and um, so you can feel nice and secure in here. Uh, it's really good, fantastic little place. So we're down here with some friends from our caravan club and that's them all the way along here. I think there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven caravans from the caravan club here. Looks really good and the weather's fantastic. And today we've come to the Wanganui Markets. Yes. And on the last day of the rally we went for a day trip out to Kaiwi Beach. Beautiful spot. A bit rough but beautiful spot. I'll just do this. So today is a very special day today, isn't it? Why is that? 